Morning guys, so it is a Saturday and I actually decided that I wanted to vlog this weekend. So um, right now I've just gotten up, I've had a shower, I've put on makeup, I'm about to film my winter wardrobe lookbook. Thought I'd give you a little bit of insight into how I actually plan these. So um, I'm going to bring you into the study and uh, just kind of show you. It's a little bit of a mess in here, but what I tend to do is... I will start kind of writing out all of my different outfits that I want to feature and then I will put numbers next to them for where in the video I like to feature them. Then over here on the rack is where I've kind of set everything up. I've still got to pull a couple of items off here but this will be coming out into the living room so that I can start filming. So now that I've got the rack all set up in our living room I'm going to take some photos which I'll use for the uh, thumbnail and also to probably put on my blog as well. Um, if you can hear any noises, it's these cats. Winston's here and ooh, Charlotte's down there somewhere. They're kind of going crazy. But yeah, so this is sort of a little bit of a peek at what I've got on the rail right now. filming if you guys ever wondered what the aftermath of one of these videos looked like I'm gonna show you it's pretty ridiculous I've got a lot to tidy up so there are shoes and coat hangers jeans jackets just everything everywhere so yeah gonna have to tackle this mess now <laughs> this weekend is because I wanted to let you guys in on a pretty big secret that I've been keeping the last couple of months and to me this is just such a huge deal and I'm really excited it's really great news uh, Luke and I have bought a house we have bought a really lovely three bedroom home in a suburb that we really like and we're just so excited like I can't believe it so we settled yesterday and now we're actually going to be doing some renovations on the house before we move in so we've got a few more weeks here at our current rental property so which is really good because it actually means that I've got a bit of time to pack everything up and I don't have to be in a rush we're not really under any stress or anything like that and it's also allowed us enough time to make sure we can get all the painting and everything done before we move in so yeah I'm gonna be sharing uh, probably quite a few of the different DIY things that we're doing so the house is, while it's really nice and we probably really wouldn't have to do much work to it at all, it, it really is a lovely home, we want to make it our own and that's the thing that we're really excited about with this purchase. So uh, we're going to get someone in to sand back the floors and then restain them because I want them to be slightly lighter. Luke likes it as, Luke's pretty relaxed either way. I'm probably the one who's really driving that particular renovation but that's the first thing that we're doing. Then we're going to repaint all of the rooms rooms I we want to go for something that's really simple so we're gonna have mostly white walls we're gonna do gray in the two spare rooms and then I have have been floating the idea of a terracotta colored statement wall Luke's not really that keen on it so we'll see <laughs> if I can sway him but that's sort of where we're going with that um, then the next thing that we have to do and we actually have to do this pretty soon after we move in is renovate the bathroom so the bathroom isn't watertight which is not you know the ideal situation but we bought the property knowing that because we wanted to renovate the bathroom anyway so it's kind of worked out so We've started going and looking at all the different things that we want to get for the bathroom. We've already bought the two vanities because the toilet's separate. So we've bought a vanity for the toilet and a vanity matching one for the bathroom. And then we've drawn up our plans for what we want to do in the bathroom as well. So now it's just a matter of getting all the tiles out and then getting all the relevant tradies in to do the work. 
So I'm really excited about this because I feel like it's such a big step in our journey together for Luke and I. Um, it's really awesome to finally be able to say that we're homeowners and I'm looking forward to all the different things that we're going to be doing to the house. So we're going to be doing as much of it as we can ourselves and then we'll be paying contractors to do the rest that we can't do or the things that doesn't really make sense for us to work on. So yeah, we're going to be removing all the tiles, I believe, from the bathroom. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along the ride for that. I I hope that you like home decor, home renovation stuff because there's probably going to be a little bit of it on my channel coming up. I'll probably just do vlog style videos. It'll be the easiest and I think I'll share some before and afters as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I just, I don't, I can't express it in words. I'm just really, really excited. So I'm going to do a little bit of packing this afternoon. That's kind of what I've got in my head. I just want to get a little bit of it out of the way so that there's less stuff to have to worry about. And then later this afternoon or tonight, really, I'm catching up with one of my girlfriends, Esther, who I haven't seen in a little while. Her and her husband are having a baby later this year. So I'm going to go and catch up with her, which should be really nice. Yeah, so that's kind of me this afternoon. Um, that I'm probably hanging out with the pets. The other two are over underneath the um, the dining table. Oh, and um, I had so many requests to do a house tour previously. So I am going to share a house tour um, of our rental property, uh, probably towards when we're moving out. So. Yeah, do keep an eye out. I will I will kind of preface this by saying our place is not Pinterest perfect. Like it really is just a normal everyday person's house. Um, I am kind of looking forward to getting those forever pieces for our place once we move into it. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna get on to this. Otherwise I could end up sitting here chatting with you guys all day. <laughs> room the two drawers are empty and I've started to unpack the shelves that are in the corner um, I did actually while I was in the bookshelf remember I've got this huge bag and this is full of empty products so I'm sort of trying to figure out do I film an empties video or do I just recycle and get rid of all the products in here so I don't know there might be a empties video coming away very soon who knows uh, but yeah this is kind of a little bit like what my box looks like the moment it's a huge huge mess okay I'm procrastinating a little bit but I thought I'd just show you guys what I'm wearing today so I am wearing this oversized knit sweater from Joseph I bought this at the start of the year it is something I got during an online shopping haul uh, which I use shop tagger to get everything on sale so yeah I love the rib detail on this and it's so nice to finally be able to actually start wearing it. Then my jeans are just a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans. These are from Dr. Denim and I got them taken up just because I wanted them to come a little bit above my ankle. Then on my feet, I'm wearing those Country Road Bow Slide Mules, which are kind of like a dupe for the Row Coco Mules. Those there, um, you can probably see, are the Everlane V Slingbacks, which I have done a review for, which I will link in the description box below. So yeah, that's the full outfit today. Seriously, look at these guys. They're all sleeping. Hey, Winnie. And Charlotte's over here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see her. Hey. <laughs> 
this is totally random but I just wanted to give a little shout out to this hummus that I'm obsessed with it's from a company called the pure produce company and it's their vegan spicy red hummus Luke and I really like this I think we've probably gotten through most of this little tub and we just have it with these uh, gluten-free whole grain crackers these are kind of like uh, what are they called crisp breads or something like that yeah so I'm gonna have a couple of these now as a snack. Ooh, that was close. Um, all right, so it's a little bit later now. I have been doing the dishes and also just doing a little bit of housework and that kind of thing. Still gotta do all the, those jobs. Uh, Luke's out at Bunnings and he's also doing some grocery shopping. So I'm at home alone right now and I'm just about to update my clothing wear tracker so I've been starting to track again how often I wear all of the items in my wardrobe and I used to do this probably about seven years ago <laughs> obsessively like I would count every single day what I was wearing I wanted to get up to 30 wears for everything in my wardrobe like that to me was sort of the golden number so I've started doing it again and it's made me really aware of how many items I have in my wardrobe which seems to be a lot. I haven't done a wardrobe, a proper wardrobe cull in a while. It doesn't feel like and, and I think my belongings have sort of exploded a little bit um, or ballooned should I say and yeah it's kind of interesting to see what I am already gravitating towards a lot. Granted, it has been pretty warm still, so I haven't really had a chance to wear many of my winter knits. I'm finally starting to get to wear them, which is really exciting for me anyway. But yeah, so I thought I'd maybe just give you a little bit of a peek into the notebook that I'm using this for. So let's just flip you guys around. Oh, I've also got myself a hot chocolate as well. This cuts from Karen Walker in case you're wondering. If you live in New Zealand you can get these pretty easily. I think in Australia you might be able to get them from Maya. I'm not 100% sure on that though. So yeah let me show you this notebook. Sorry about the flicker. I think it's because the light's on but um, this notebook is actually given to me by one of my best friends. It says Mademoiselle on the front. She gave it to me as a gift when mum passed away. I just thought it was really sweet. It's leather bound and oops you open it up I've done a little bit of calligraphy not great but you know I try and then I've done these little tabs down the side here and what I've done because I do occasionally cull my wardrobe is I've left space so that I can add in new items and cross things off as I decide to part with them so this is kind of what it is looking like at the moment and I've got yeah, I've got a lot of things, <laughs> as it would turn out. A lot of tops too, so I'm going to update this and then I'm going to start editing a video, I think. and I'm just hanging out with the pets now um, I've got dinner with Esther in an hour so yeah I've got to, kind of got to start thinking about heading out for that It 
is now Sunday. Sorry, I didn't finish the vlog last night. Um, I ended up staying out until about probably 9.30 with Esther. It was really, really nice. We went to Gigi's. I can't remember if I mentioned that, but it's a vegan pizza place in Sydney. It's a new town and I've been wanting to go for years actually. Just never had an opportunity to. You can't book a table and the queue outside was really long. So I kind of figure you know that something is good when there's that many people waiting for it. So that was really good. Um, this morning I've just kind of gotten up. I took a few photos, have gotten ready for the day um, very soon. I think we're going to go to the house just to put up some paint samples and that sort of thing. And right now I'm just having some breakfast. <music> putting testers up on the wall this is the first one so let's see how we go so these are all the color swatches that we're going for we've used letters to help us identify what color is what lots of white and gray uh, we've kind of picked out what we're gonna go for um, I think there's gonna be a lot of vivid white and then this sort of gray color as a feature and then I think we're going with this color in one of the spare rooms so I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. Sorry about the lighting. Um, so I am wearing, um, underneath all of this, this black air tee from Everlane. It's got quite nice long sleeves, if you can sort of see that. Then I've worn it with this black denim skirt from ASOS. I've got that belted at the waist with this Isabel Morant belt. And then I have worn my uh, workshop utility jacket over the top and I have cinched that in a little bit at the waist just to give it a little bit of shape. Over the top of that I'm wearing my Acne Studios, sorry about the lighting again, um, scarf. It's quite yellowy in here. Then on my feet I am wearing my Jagger sling back flats with the bow detail. So that's kind of the full outfit today. There's Nigel. Hey Nigel. <laughs> Goes cutie. Hey buddy. Hello guys. So it's actually Monday morning now. I meant to continue vlogging yesterday. However, we got a little bit carried away doing some paint samples and things in the house yesterday. And we're also measuring up a few different bits and bobs. We came home, took Nigel for a walk and my dad arrived while we were out taking Nigel for a walk. So I kind of didn't really have a chance to end the vlog because we were catching up. Um, this morning I have been to the house to meet up with the uh, contractors who are going to be redoing our floors. So I'm really excited because it's going to be a couple of days and then it will be all ready and then we can start painting. So uh, it's so exciting because I just can't wait to move in. Um, and yeah, I'm about to head off to work now. I might show you guys my outfit before I dash out the door actually just because it's a little bit gamine. I quite like it when I've got the blazer on. I'm just wearing the tee at the moment. But let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, so I'm wearing a simple white tee. This is the Durian tea from Whistles. Like I said, I kind of want to see how this wears. It's really nice and comfortable to wear, so I'm a little bit cold. Um, and then the trousers that I'm wearing are these ones from ASOS. They're a navy grid check. I absolutely adore these. I just think they're so cute and I think such a great buy. On my feet are my Sam Edelman loafers, which I really like. I think they're super comfortable. Then to layer up, I'm also wearing my Helmet Lang blazer and my Acne Studios scarf. So, oops, there we go. That's the full outfit today. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. As I mentioned, I am going to end it here just so I've got a working week and for obvious reasons, I can't really take you guys to work with me, but um, I hope that you enjoyed it all the same. Uh, I'm really excited to share with you our new house journey and our renovation journey. I think it's going to be really fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.